I'd like to take a few moments to talk about Base Motion Drill 1. I've changed it up a little bit from the original post that I made some months back. If you've not yet done so, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Like, share, leave a comment if you'd care to make a donation. There is a PayPal link right there in the description below. And let's get to Base Motion Drill number one. So the formula here is that we're starting with a tenth, in this case F and A, first fret and second fret of the sixth and second strings. We're backing up and coming forward one step. So F, E, F, G. With the first and third fingers with an open string as well. So fretwise for the bass, one, zero, one, three. And if you've not used your fingers this way of having separate little teams of alternating fingers, this is a great exercise for that. Also for mapping the fingerboard. Here we're seeing the key of no sharps and no flats. Now we come to our next bass note. And we're going to treat it the same way, which is a step below, a return, and a step above. In this case, we have A and C as our 10th, 5th fret of the 6th and 3rd strings. We're coming below to G at the 3rd fret of the 6th string. Back to A5 and B at the 2nd fret of the 5th string. Now we need C and E 10th. This is our next... our next bass note. So C and E 3 and 5 on the 5th and 2nd strings. And we're backing up to 2nd fret back to C and up to D. C, B, C, D. And now E and G, seven and eight at the, uh, on the fifth and second strings. So I'm using middle finger, little finger. So I have fingers above and below. So E, D, E, F. Here's G and B, 10 and 12 on strings five and two. We're coming below to eighth fret F, back to G, 10th fret, up to A, 12th fret of the fifth string. This is gonna leave us at B and D. Now we're on the fourth and first strings, up the ninth and 10th fret. And we're gonna walk B, A, B, C with this D up top. So nine, seven, nine, ten. That's gonna bring us to D and F, 12 and 13, strings four and one. That's going to take us maybe the only time we're going to leave our tenth to go to an individual bass note here. This is E at the 14th fret of the fourth string. And our final tenth, F and A, at the 15th and 17th fret of the fourth and first strings. Now, in the original posting that I did of Base motion drill number one. I just alternated. Below. But I realized this morning that it, it would be truer to the exercise to have we begin, so we'll invert instead of going from a pitch below returning and above. Now we're going to go from a pitch above, returning, and below. This is the inversion of the phrase then. 
which requires some fingering changes, but we'll go over those. So F and A, 15 and 17, and we're gonna have G above and E below, 15th, 17th, 15th, 14th fret. Now D and F, 12 and 13, and I'm using first two fingers because we're gonna go above with the third finger to E. And come off of it to go to C by itself at the 10th fret. And now we have, let's see, second and fourth fingers at nine and 10, a B and a D again. And we're gonna come above with third finger to C, 10th fret, back to nine, and down to seventh fret, first string, A. Now we need G and B, 10 and 12. Above is A. Twelfth fret, back to 10, down to F at the eighth fret of the fifth string. Now it's similar to fingering to what we had before. E and G, second and fourth fingers, up to F, eighth fret, back to seven, E, and down to D, fifth fret. Now this fingering, three and four, on C and E, tenth, at the eighth and ninth frets of the sixth and third strings. So we're reaching down from C to get D here at the fifth fret of the fifth string, back to C and down to B, seventh fret. Even if you just played around with this for a while, very good for the eyes, ears, and brain. Here's A and C again, our tenth at the fifth fret of the sixth and third strings. And we're walking up to B at the second fret of the fifth string. Back to A, fifth fret, G below. And F and A, first and second frets. That's where we started. interest to you and maybe giving you something active in the bass. It looks like I'm going to start doing lessons on all of the bass motion drills as well because they are very helpful. We're continuing on with the melodic motion etudes but also the bass motion drills. I hope this finds you doing very well and I wish you a very good day.